And away they go from the 1400 meter marker. Diane a little bit slow to go. Ballado's in the yellow. Neptune's rock the blue blinkers. Dark Liability's in the pink, running up into second position. A little bit strong though. Royce King is along the inside. Ballard is in the yellow, also quite strong. And Shogun is on the outside. White Christmas, that settled about six, seven lengths off the leader. In actual fact, being niggled at. Then Royal Champion near the rail, red sleeves and cap. Then comes Seven Swords. And Dan is one of the trailers, about eight lengths off the leader. Neptune's Rock, a length and a quarter. Dark Liability is second. Royce King at the rail, third. And Man of Honors in the orange, fourth. Shogun, the pink cap being niggled at. Bellardo's near the rail. That's got about four and a half, five lengths to make up. Royal Champion Reds, Lees and Cap between runners. White Christmas now getting the shake up. Then Diana behind that seven swords. Top of the lane and Dark Liability makes an early move to strike the lead. Neptune's Rock on the outside and towards the inside of that one also trying to run on as Royce King. Royal Champion tries to get into the race but Dark Liability has skipped away from them now. And it's Dark Liability and this one is all over. Dark Liability to win it by two, three or four lanes. Dark Liability is home and us. So Dark Liability at the end, best part of five or six lanes. Royal Champion second. Man of Honor third, White Christmas fourth, and behind that, Pallado. Number five, Dark Liability, the three-year-old son of Lundy's Liability for Wire Marwing. 35 days since its last run, it was here at Gravel on the poly track and showed good improvement on that occasion, was hanging in. Smuggler Kamala rode it on this occasion, was prominent and took the lead shortly after coming into the stretch and then kicked away from the opposition to win by the best part of five or six lengths. An easy victory for Dark Liability. This one is owned by Fisser and Smith and bred by Himmel and Arda. Royal Champion runs second. A nice run from number seven, Man of Honor. White Christmas going to prefer more ground. Ballada is further back in the running. And it was a well-stretched outfield. The winner won by the best part of five or six lengths. Uh, further back is Royce King, who was prominent and then did not go on. Seven Swords is further back. And then Neptune's Rock, who was prominent, did not go on with the effort. Further back is Shogun and Dayan. So here's the favourite and winner, number five, Dark Liabilities in the pink, under the hands at this stage, and then just kicks away from the opposition, a matter of what's going to run second and third, or the minor placings, and Dark Liability is victorious. So Dark Liability number five, showing on the tote at two rand forty, and wins easing up at the line. Next up is the third race, and the third race will start off our pick six. It's on the poly track, it's over 1400 metres until the third race, back to the studio. Bred by the Himmel and Order stud number five, Dark Liability, the son of Lundy's Liability, has come roaring through to really put the rest of the field to sleep for Messrs. Fisser and Smith. He looked the live wire in this contest and he looked well on the way to the gate. Yeah, you know, uh, I think the Lundy's Liabilities go well on the, on the poly and the sand. i uh, just like to thank David Eppen Brown. You know, uh, he's a nice horse. This obviously needed a bit of confidence. Um, well done to Tyron Owen. They, they're more friends and fa more friends than owners to me. Uh. Looking at your runners to come, Jonovic, and then of course Asabal, you're looking for a big run for the owners once again. Yeah, you know, uh, I think Jonovic, if he handles the poly, uh, I think will go very close. You know, he's, he's a horse that shows so much ability at home. Uh, Jonovic, he's an old campaigner, yeah, he loves it. Uh, I mean, Asabal, he's very fit, he's very well. His horses have come here to, they've come here, they've come here to, They've come to the track, fit these horses, and they're very well eh? Well done. Thanks for the input. Thank you. Let's get Smanga Kamala into the picture here. Yeah, dark liability. Your fans were screaming, go Smanga. Turning for home, one-way traffic. Yes, you know what? Uh, he came out uh, pretty well, and I was a little bit closer than what uh, Mr. Mawang wanted me to. And uh, I said about, uh, as you said, at 600, uh, he, he, he was just in, in control of the race. Uh, the front horses started to actually uh, tie a bit, and uh, once he took over, it was a matter of how far, because he gave me quite an ass feel um, uh, throughout the race. So uh, I think he, he's uh, something uh, decent here. Looking at your rides to come, they look quite competitive. Who would be your next best? Dana's Jet, maybe? 
You know, I'm trying all the way. I think uh, the other one uh, runner for uh, Mr. Tikok, Dinah's Jet, might be running us uh, uh, second last time with Muzi. So uh, hopefully today we'll uh, try and uh, bring it up uh, to the number one box, but uh, we're trying all the way. Keep those winners ticking along. Well done. Thank you. A big thanks uh, to Mr. Mowing. You know, he always believed in me and uh, he, for him to put him on horses like us, a uh, big thanks to him and also to the owners. I think they'll have a lot of fun with him. And uh, to my sponsors, uh, Maurice Fontaine and uh, Volker Boss Drift. Well done to them too. Well done. Thank you. Well done to Samanga Kamala. Number five, Dark Liability has come through and left the rest of the field in his dust. Comprehensive victory. Diana's Jet, Isobar, they're all coming up later. Jonovic, Stable and Samanga Kamala. They're looking for big evenings throughout.